Hey there, everybody. I'm gonna take you to beer school here. I am at Big Oyster Brewery in Lewis, Delaware. One of the very best breweries in Delaware and, and, and for, uh, as a matter of fact, within Delaware, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. I tout this as one of the best breweries in three states. Phenomenal stuff. So, start off with the hammerhead here. Its uh, description just says a West Coast style IPA brewed with three different hops for intense citrus and pine character. It is insanely tasty. Um, my note on the hammerhead is that IPAs have been the rage for years. There's uh, no signs of that slowing down. But at this stage in the IPA game, it is so oversaturated and there are so many that have uh, 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 too much citrus um, that are just imbalanced, let's say, imbalanced IPAs out there. Some that are way too strong, you know, 10% or more. Um, which is kind of getting ridiculous for a beer. You know, I, I think up to about 8% or so is, is good and satisfying. But anyways, this hammerhead has, um, it, it, as the description kind of suggests, a perfect balance. Um, you almost can't pick out the citrus or the pine because they are so evenly matched and balanced. And that, I think, folks, is one of the one of the real secrets to success when it comes to when it comes to a really good beer a really good craft beer is balance a lot of beers out there right now in my opinion are just too much of a kind of one trick pony so this is the mega hazy made with galaxy citra mosaic and lotus hops so there's four different hops in this one it's it's kind of subtly complex and it's it's really good it's not overly citrusy again it's just really well balanced now going over to these two i've got two loggers whoa whoops this one is beach traffic and this one is the atlantico and the beach traffic says uh, it has lots of taste and crushability. <laughs> really, really smooth. Really tasty. Subtle, subtle hint of lemon, as you might imagine. Thank you. And this is the Atlantico. It's similar, but it's not the same. It's also an easy drinking lager for the summertime. Mexican style in the description. That is darn good. That is so satisfying. That tastes how beer I don't know how you say it, how beer used to taste. It is just terrifically mild. A slight, slight nuttiness to it. Now, let me show you why, look. The description for the Atlantico says that it's brewed with Pilsner malt and flaked maize. So there's flaked corn in there. And that is Beer School 101 for you guys. That is how you do it as a great brewery. There is usually more than one type of hop in all these beers. You know, some have three or four, obviously, as I mentioned. Some have hops and mixes of other ingredients. This one has hops and corn. Um, they're Pilsner. I was like, we, we thought about Thank you. Their Pilsner is brewed with malt, rice, and corn. Doesn't do good in the close-ups here. 
Pilsner is brewed with malt, rice, and corn. So these beers are complex. And the complexity is subtle, but that is what makes a truly great beer. Pretzels here. Gonna compare the beer cheese here to uh, the beer cheese at Dogfish, which I can't lie, it was insanely good. But we'll see how this is. And I'll see you later. Yeah.